Hi everybody, Kev McNamara here. Welcome to the Inspired Healing Podcast. This is a podcast for those of you looking to change your lives, get out of your comfort zones and reach your full potential. I talk about the Stoics and the Stoic stories and quotes from people like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus. I explain how they relate to your life today and how they can help you change your life for the better. It's kind of the five minute Stoic personal development. And please support our sponsors, Prostate Plus, if you're a man and you want to shrink your prostate, Prostate Plus are the best supplements you can get. I use them myself to keep my prostate fit and healthy. And milfan.com, the world's best food delivery service. Links are in the show notes below. Now let's go inside. Hey everybody, it's Kev here. Welcome to the podcast. This is day number three of David Goggins Week. We're doing a week of Goggins, the man. And uh, I want to thank you for being here. Really appreciate you uh, being part of this podcast. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Love you to do that. And if you feel like leaving a review, that would be wonderful as well. That really does help the podcast. Now, today I want to talk about a quote that uh, really, I mean, I love all his quotes. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. But this one really, I don't know, I can't put it quite into words, but it really does, uh, I think it sums up what a lot of people are going through and how a lot of people need to change. Uh, David Goggins is definitely a modern day stoic. There's no doubt about that. This is the quote. You are in danger of living a life so comfortable and soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential. And that is just so true of so many people. And it reminds me of a quote from uh, Wayne Dyer. I'm not sure if it's an original Wayne Dyer quote, but I know he uh, often said this. Don't die with your music still in you. And so many people are so comfortable. They just they become so soft. Another quote from Goggins is uh, he talks about it's easy to be great these days because so many people are weak. And you just look around and you just and you see it everywhere and especially uh, I mentioned this yesterday but especially on social media there are so many people out there with I don't know some kind of idea that getting on social media and abusing people uh, who don't agree with them is a great way to live and I I feel sorry for these people because they're victims basically they're blaming everybody else except themselves for their life and they're so comfortable sitting back in their comfort zone they're not doing anything with their life and so they see people ex- uh, they see people succeeding and they don't like that because they're not and it comes back to that whole thing of your comfort zone being in your comfort zone and if you see people succeeding especially family and friends if you see them doing really well you don't like that. You want to drag them back into your comfort zone. You'll often see it when someone is out there. It, it might be a you know a parent who says to their son, "Look, we don't like the direction you're going in. You know, you should be a doctor. We want you to be a doctor. So please come back here. Don't go off doing this, this, and this stuff that we hate. Don't go off being an entrepreneur. It's a family thing to be a doctor. You come back and you become a doctor because they're scared of what they see that their son doing." In this particular example, he's off having great success as an entrepreneur, but they don't like it. And they want to drag him back into the comfort zone because through the generations, they've all been doctors or whatever it may be. And that's how it works with these kind of people. They just don't like the fact that others are succeeding and they want to drag them back into their comfort zone. Hey, come back here. Come back here. It's happened to me quite a few times. I'm kind of a bit different to most people in my family. <laughs> and um, and I know some some people don't like that and because they don't have that confidence or that courage to go out and do something different. And so they kind of drag you back or try and drag you back or they'll just bag you behind your back. And it happens so often in families and friends and all that kind of thing. And it's just because people, as David Goggins says, people are in danger of living a life so comfortable and so soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential. And how many people do you know are like that? They're just sitting back. They're just so comfortable in their little job that they hate, but it's secure. It's a secure income. They hate it and they'll keep working in it for 40, 
50 years, some people, and then, then they think, great, it, it'll all be fine when I retire. Then they retire, and guess what they do? A lot of them just die, or they're too old to go and enjoy their pension or their superannuation or any money that they've got left at the end of their life. And then they think back and think, wow, why didn't I really take advantage of my life when I was younger? Why didn't I do those things that I promised myself that I would do? Why didn't I do them when I was younger? Why didn't I take holidays and have fun with the family and you know, spend six months living overseas just to experience it? But now look at me. I'm on my deathbed. I'm too old. And I love Les Brown when he talks about, you know, you're sitting on your deathbed. You might be in your 80s, your 90s, whatever age you are. And you look back on your life and you haven't done the things that you wanted to do. And then all of a sudden there's a knock on your door. The door opens and in walks opportunity, in walks skills, in, in walks amazing adventures. And all these things look at you and they say to you, you know what? We were there for you. We were there and we were waiting for you to use us because we wanted to use you. We wanted to be part of your life. But now we're going to die along with you and you die with your music still in you all these opportunities all these chances that you had to make something of your life your true potential is gone and now you're going to die there are so many people in the cemetery who were really really rich rich in potential wasted potential they've died with their music still in them don't be one of those people everyone has a story to tell Everyone has an impact to leave on the world. The world is waiting to hear your story. We all have a story. And your story can inspire other people because we're all different. And it doesn't matter what you've been through in your life, your story can inspire others. I mean, I look at my story. I lost my daughter when she was five months old. I went through prostate cancer and got through that through natural means. I've had a couple of marriages and divorces. I've had a crazy life. But... People like hearing about that because they're going through those kinds of things as well and it's helping them. So your story can be the same. So don't think your story can't help other people. Every single person in this world has a story and the world is waiting to hear it. The people who are going through what you went through want to hear how you got through it and how you survived it. So don't die with that music, with that knowledge, with that experience in you without helping other people and that's why I think that's such a powerful quote because so many people are just sitting back living comfortably and being really really soft really really weak and there are so many weak people around so Goggins is right it's easy to be great when there are so many weak people around don't be one of them use this life to the best of your ability don't waste it get out make an impact help others it's your duty you are in danger of living a life so comfortable and soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential that's your wake-up call get out there do it i'll see you tomorrow bye-bye well i really hope you enjoyed today's podcast if you did please subscribe and leave a review that really does help us and also share it with your family and friends that would be great and please support my sponsor prostate plus Prostate Plus supplements really can help shrink your prostate. I use them myself to great effect. The links to Prostate Plus are down below in the show notes. Thanks for listening. See you next time.